नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर बी गणेश कुमार आई वर्क एस अ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिस्ट इन दि ईसीआर नेशनल अकाडमी आफ् अग्रिकलचरल रिसर्च मैनेजमेंट हईदराबाद इंडियन फिशरी सेक्टर इज वन आफ द सन रईज सेक्टर्स इन अवर् कंट्री इट ग्रोस अबउट सेवन टू एट पर्सेंट आनुअली दि कॉन्ट्रिब्यूशन आफ दि फिशरी सेक्टर इन दि ओवराल एकानमी इज अबउट वन पर्सेंट एंड टू दि अग्रिकलचरल जी डी पी इट कॉन्ट्रिब्यूट अबउट फाइव टू सिक्स पर्सेंट फिशरी सेक्टर हाज प्रोडक्शन फ्रम टू डिफरेंट सैट आफ सब सैक्टर्स फिश कम फ्रम मरइन वाटर्स फिश आलो कम फ्रम इनल वाटर्स इन अवर कंट्री दि कंट्रिब्यूशन आफ मरइन सेक्टर इन दि ओवराल इंडियन फिशरी अवटपुट इज डिंग ओवर ए पीरियड आफ इयर्स मे बी ड्यू टू सेवरल अनसस्टनबल प्राक्टीस लाइक मोर नंबर आफ क्राफ्ट बीइंग इन टू आपरेशन इन दि इंडियन मरइन वाटर्स एंड the use of unsustainable practices like use of unsuitable gears nets and then harvesting lot of juveniles which causes the the damage to the breeding cycle on the other side india has also many fresh uh, fresh water bodies starting from the uh, rivers reservoirs open water bodies estuaries beels and even pond waters and in the recent years especially after the establishment of national fisheries development board the the government of india is increasing the fish production by bringing the aquaculture activities in several uh, fresh water bodies through its various programs currently the country produces 11.4 million tons of which more than 62/3 of the uh, production comes from the inland waters and it is going to be on the uh, rice and fisheries sector also deals high value commodities it fetches i mean more income a better income to the farmers if they can have water bodies which are unused in their area whether it is common property resources or their own farm ponds they can go for aquaculture activities there are several fish species which are suitable for culture in our country mainly they can go for culturing rohu katla murgal combined with chinese major crops like grass carp common carp and silver carp they can go for composite aquaculture with the culture of only indian major crops or chinese major crops together they can get easily one ton in the very low production system in in a gap of 10 months time if they go for aquaculture if they go for intensive aquaculture they can get 7 to 8 tons in 10 months time and fishery is a, a very challenging sector in terms of its nature fishery sector handles heterogeneous products it's a highly perishable products so farmers need to know how to market these produce to the markets they should have uh, tie ups with the the several intermediaries for taking the fish from their site of production to the markets and they should know little of the primary processing and uh, uh, the packing activity they can use uh, the uh, durable packing materials like thermocool boxes or for shorter distance they can use plastic crates i mean use of ice is i mean compulsory if they can use sufficient ice the fish keeping quality can be for a longer period there are successful models which are available in the country especially in the coastal regions of uh, godavari river delta regions of godavari river in the three districts of west godavari east godavari and krishna districts there is a very significant activity of fish marketing happening there are several enthusiastic entrepreneurial aquaculture farmers who are culturing the indian major crops in the 10 month culture duration and all the fishes produced in this uh, the andhra pradesh state is reaching the haura market which is the major fish consuming market in our country through a network of transportation uh, facilities they use the regular uh, truck which are used for transporting the container goods for transporting the fish through their innovation they are using the thermocool boxes of various sizes and they pack the fish which are harvested from the pond aquaculture uh, uh, activities and using ice they pack the fresh fish and they transport it to the haura markets and they are transporting it beyond also on the marine sector we have 
specific preferences for certain fish species among the, the fish consuming public. It is estimated in general about 30% of our population are fish consumers. And the fish consumption pattern is also uniquely different from state to state. States like Tamil Nadu prefers a, a high value species called sear fish. States like Kerala prefers a, another high value fish species called pomfret. The state like Karnataka prefers a very popular fish called mackerel. And the state like uh, West Bengal prefer a, a fish, a freshwater fish mainly that is rohu. And the people of West Bengal also prefers seasonally some important uh, specific species called hills of fish during festival seasons. The, the population of Punjab prefers less bony fishes, maybe maral and species like uh, catfish are most preferred. Certain specific species are also cultured in the riverine system in our country. In the region, in the, in the, in the, in the Ganga waters of Uttar Pradesh, the uh, species of uh, uh, rohu is being captured and then marketed locally. So I would like to sum up, uh, say uh, in, a, in a statement that it, it is a very promising sector. Government also have high hopes on this uh, uh, sector. The country has seen a green revolution, the country has seen white revolution, the country is expected to see blue revolution. Government of India, under the uh, uh, leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, has announced an ambitious plan of blue revolution with the allocation of 2,000 crores. All the state governments are in the effort of making uh, the, uh, the in increasing the fish production uh, in this country. So, with, with this uh, promise the sector is providing, I, I expect the farmers to participate in this uh, effort to make the country one of the largest producer of fish in the world. Thank you so much.